Hi there, Roderick here from Toy Masters Video Magazine. I'm still here at the Munster Color Show here at the Grand Central uh, Terminal at Pick Store. I'm here with Video Vomit. Now, you do uh, resins? Um, I do, uh, what I do is I do the vinyl uh, Safubi from uh, Japan. And uh, I, I, I haven't made a toy yet. I'm like kind of working on trying to get a toy made myself. But I uh, customize. Um, all of the uh, all the ones like this, like Max Toy, uh, Mecha Necron uh, number three, and I made this one like a Gundam, and then I did uh, from uh, Bad Tooth Comics, I did uh, this Cheese Destroyer, and it's a Gid, so it, it's like glow in the dark and all that, so that's pretty sweet. And then uh, the main one was the Vomit King Kaiser, and that's um, uh, the Pollen Kaiser from Paul Kaiju, and I just absolutely fell in love with the sculpt as soon as I saw it. So um, initially he had a, uh, a staff and then the head was on there, but then I put the head on here and uh, kind of did my own thing. My, my whole style is derives from um, like old vintage uh, 90s, 80s action figures, stuff like that. And I, I do all the vivid colors and I use specifically monster color paint. So, um, and I'm an airbrush artist, so everything I do is all airbrush, um, not hand painted or anything like that. So. That's pretty much like my entire medium, and um, you can catch me at uh, Video Vomit on uh, Tumblr, that's where this whole thing started, or Video Vomit on Instagram, and then that's everything. <laughs> uh, question, how long does it take you to do something like that, from like the small one to the um, big one right there? Um, probably this one took me like a total of maybe like three days, but that was only because I, I like sometimes I'll get hung up on something, or sometimes I'll have to like find a part. What I like to do is I'll go on, I'll scan eBay, or I'll go to thrift stores and stuff to try and find old uh, uh, Ninja Turtles or something like that, something like with the accessories that I can attach to there, glue them on, or something like that. So something like this would take me like maybe an hour to two hours, but something like this it depends on like if I'm happy with it or not. Uh, I, I often come back to something and it, it might look one way and then I'll completely change it a different way. I'm totally indecisive and I don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> so it's just every time I do it, it's just something, something different every time. Are you working on any uh, new products, new projects at this point, at this moment? Um, well, right now I've been working on another uh, Vomit King Kaiser, um, and uh, he's got like armor and all kinds of cool stuff in there. And then I've been, uh, I just finished another Max Toy Co. Uh, Izon, and he's like absolutely incredible, which was really cool. And then I went to um, Toy Tokyo and I picked up a uh, blank vinyl of Mothra, so I'm really excited to, to just start painting that right away. So you could probably check that out on my Instagram right away. Now, if somebody wants to um, buy one of your um, products here, how would they uh, get in touch with you? Um, uh, my email is uh, johncookdooley at gmail.com, that's my name. And then um, I have a store on Big Cartel, it's uh, videovomit.bigcartel.com. Uh, and I have um, some uh, NECA um, knife head kaiju from Pacific Rim that I painted with monster color. And then I have a small one and a larger one, the larger one I've yet to put up yet. And then I have uh, some other small odds and ends there and I am um, trying to put together some like uh, packs for everybody that who wants to buy some. I also got stickers, all kinds of cool stuff. So. And how much do, um, does your kaijus run for? Um, the Vomit King Kaiser I'm charging 400 for, but um, something smaller, like on this scale, I'd probably charge like uh, 60 to $75 for something small. I also paint um, Kenner Predators and uh, Kenner Swamp Thing action figures like back from back in the day. And those, those are on my cheaper end because I want to make something, I want to uh, paint toys that, that people that are nostalgic for, for old action figures, stuff like that, but they're still like affordable. So, because I want people to like be able to like have this this cool stuff, but it's also kind of expensive, you know. So like I, I, I go broke <laughs> buying all these stuff all the time. So I, I wanted to make some stuff that that's just kind of cool to like put out there for people to like have and put up on their on their shelves, you know, face spiller. Well, thank you, Video Vomit, and I'm Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine, here at the Munster Color Show at the Grand Central Terminal in New York City. Take it easy, everybody. Catch you later.